A state lawmaker wants to essentially prohibit schools and public libraries from banning books. As KDK political editor John Delano explains, this is the latest skirmish over the books that we and our children get to read. We are one of the worst states in book banning efforts and, and that we had 56 attempts to ban 302 unique titles. State Senator Amanda Capaletti says it's time to stand up to the book banners. So she's introducing a bill to ban book banning at schools and libraries that receive state dollars. We're protecting a legacy of American freedom to access information and determine what's right for ourselves and our families. But Joy Mann, vice chair of Moms for Liberty Allegheny Chapter, says her group's effort to remove books is focused on age-appropriate school curriculum and libraries, not public libraries. Most of these books are very sexual and graphic in content and nature. Um, there is the book Gender Queer, that is a graphic novel that has some very dis disturbing graphic images of sexual acts, things like that. There are others that describe in very graphic detail um, some rapes, incest. But Capaletti says book banning is not the solution because it infringes on others' First Amendment rights. If you as a parent don't want your child to access certain books, talk to your librarian. Work with your child to make sure that they're accessing what you feel are appropriate books. Pen America, a national group that defends the right to read all books, however offensive, says Capaletti's bill is one of several now in state legislature. There's this idea that that like the answer to um, you know, the potential for one young person to see something, you know, too young is to like censor that from everybody else. I mean, that's just not a workable solution whatsoever. Capaletti says if you feel strongly about this issue, talk to your legislators. She'll introduce her bill this fall. John Delano, KDKA TV News.